Hmm, that was weird. Went to press record. And the camera did blacked out. Bill Cosby blacked out. Good day, everybody. It's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. In the last video, let us recap. We grind it off some dog shit welding. And now we're going to start fabricating the new mounts for the shocks. And last night, while I was sleeping, and today, the beer bottles were turning in my head. And this is what I came up with. So these, right here, are the pieces of metal that I picked up. And I bought this a long time ago, but we need to cut some metal about the same width as this. Because what we need to do is... Uh, to stand that up right there it's gonna weld that onto here because I need to machine that out so that these bolts can just sit in there but not all the way down because you want it to be kind of stuck in there so basically what I'm saying is that I'm gonna machine like a t-bolt in a sense that way once those pieces are welded back in Later on down the road, if those nuts ever break, you'll be able to slide it out with a little bit of work and then put in a new bolt and off to the races. However, before we do that, they sent me their new stereo, the A6 Pro. You guys can watch that on my other channel. I need to install that today. And also last night with the 3D printer, um, somebody had posted on Thingiverse about this coolant cap, so I printed it out fits but it uh, needs tweaking of the inside rib there so that it could stick actually I might shrink the dimensions by a millimeter too that would probably make a huge difference I got to check out the program keep you updated though all right let the air compressor build up and try one of these buffer wheels out Gonna mark these out. And I'm gonna need four of them. He wants to ask me about this grinder because it comes with the nine amp hour battery. It needs to get thrown on the charger here. Toss it on the rapid charger. And it's gonna start making all sorts of noise for some reason. Dudes, I got this no name battery. We're gonna throw on the grinder and see how well it's gonna cut a piece. See if we can kill that battery in one shot. All right, see what's gonna happen. Need to tighten up the device a little bit. Definitely uh, kicking out because it's not enough juice. It says it's got three bars, but. Holy. So I guess you know what happens when you put a weak battery on the grinder. Don't get me wrong. It's. Uh, a good battery for the 3 8 gun but that's pretty much about it it's got that 5 amp hour that'll finish the job ah first world problems right here do I machine with chinesium bit or do I use a carbide chinesium carbide Screw it. I got enough of these Chinese bits coming out, but let's machine with it. 
Why did I? Why is the three eighths in the half inch? What the frick is going on? How does that even happen? I don't know. Grab my tools. Fun part is. Let's find out where the slot is. Where are you? Oh, there we go. You know you're getting old and you can't get in the hole anymore. You're losing your touch. You know, machining's not the hard part. It's setting the machine up. That is. Bring that down, it touches. Zero it out. I think we'll be ready to rock and roll. Make sure that it still works. Oh yeah, safety. Let's go for a uh, pretty big chomp there. Shut her down. I had a rag. I had a rag once upon a time. There we have it. Four beautiful pieces. Got the first one machined out. Four more to go. I was knocking these china bits, but they're super cheap. They work pretty good for my purposes. Those are all cut. Now tomorrow, we're going to cut these pieces, machine the slot that these will slide on. These next pieces of the stem bar will be cut a little shorter than that because we're going to weld them on top. Machine the surface so that we can have the bolt slide in and out but can't come out. And then we'll be set to weld those back in the Jeep. As soon as we get that done, put the... Um, gas tank back in rust proof it beforehand and then we can move on to other things sooner we get all this shit done on the jeep sooner we can start working on the cummins 4bt that's just been kind of sitting here lonely getting covered with stuff <laughs> part about having a mill and lathes build the machine stuff I need to make the next piece and I got a 5 16 end mill but I don't have a 5 16 R8 cullet so I'm gonna machine it down to a quarter beat her in nice and slow It should work if I didn't machine too much off. And 
this should pretty much yeah bust the chip out yes sir Perfect. There we are, looking good. We're gonna clean these ones up a little bit and then we'll be good to go. Weld them in place and hopefully that should be a permanent fix. I'm telling you right now, the weekend's almost here. And I can't freaking wait. It's been a shitty fucking week. I mean, I've just been stuck with some of the like worst jobs at work. I mean, one's not like a brutal job. It's awkward and it's time consuming is doing the oil pan and a bed pan at work on a Ford 2007, I believe, um, F-350 6.0 diesel. And if you had a hoist in the air, it'd make things a whole lot easier because then your suspension's already raised and then you could just like jack up the front end and, or not jack up the front end, but you could jack up off the harmonic balancer to lift the engine up to get at the bolts but when you're on the ground i had to hook up a crane to the lift hooks i lifted up the suspension put some jacks under it blocked it up and then you're trying to like laying on the ground and you're reaching with your hands all gimped up like this it's not a very fun situation i'm going to tell you that right now that's where sometimes having a hoist will be the ultimate tool not in this garage though, way too small, but I can see lots of times where it come in handy. Uh, just, you know, sometimes you just gotta struggle through it. Now it's time to fit it up. I'm gonna fit one each shock, and then we're gonna tack them into place, remove the shock and weld it. Kinda see how the end product is gonna look. Clean them up a little bit, put some zinc paint on the backside. So now we're ready to tack it into place, showing you guys how it's going to fit up, how it's going to look. A little bit of an overhang right here, if you really wanted to, you could cut that down. But I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Only thing I'm going to do, weld it into place, so if I ever have to, I can remove it. Let's get it set up. Glad that's all taken care of now. Those are welded into place. Got to do the POR 15 underneath, clean off the rust, everything else. But I think it's motherfucking beer time. We need to shut this down and then continue on with the next video. Today's motherfucking beer time is beer from the Philippines. Red Horse Beer, extra strong, 8%. All right, motherfucking beer time. The first time I tried this beer is that a Filipino co-worker had a barbecue. And I'm going to tell you right now, 
Filipino food is absolutely delicious. It's spicy. It's yummy. And that smoked pig they got going on, holy! And this beer is good. 8%. I'm going to call this the Cosby beer because after a few of these, you're going to be blacking out if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to end this video here. We got those blocks made up. They're welded underneath the Jeep. And each step we're doing brings us closer to getting this thing done because I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure i got to replace the head. Do I replace the head? Put a crate engine in it. I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money in, in this Jeep. I just want to fix it up, keep it running for a few more years. I don't know what's going to happen yet. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. Red horse. And I'll talk to you guys later.